Document your life with God and communicate with Him as you journal. The decisions we make aren't always in line with other people, priorities around us. Matter of factly, sometimes we have to make peace with things that we know aren't rightly done. It's in the light around us we experience His love. We meditate on His goodness. Our story flows and ripples deep through the knowledge of knowing our history. The guiding hands who've gone before us shape and mold the life as we know it. We want what we want. His plans are deeper than our own. We stand solid on His love and go where He goes where he takes us all for his glory, even if it means going alone. Rooms full of people, we run away to hear his voice. We sway back and forth, praising his sweet name, only to sense him deeper. Some understand, some don't. It doesn't matter because that's not what it's all about. We can't back up too far or we will not hear or see what he's doing. It's in the pitter-patter, the lights, and the sounds we show up with new and old belongings of our loved ones. Things we treasure because of what our loved ones mean to us. We want to hold on as tight as we can to carry out their love for life. The places they've been, the things they learn, their integrity the things they held on to deep in the closets most on a regular day wouldn't even realize they had. It's okay if we don't know all the ins and outs. We know we must cultivate the care and love our loved ones once did for their belongings. We must do so by weaving it throughout our lives we are building. This here is my grandfather's typewriter. Someone asked, what are you going to do with it? I answered, use it in my art, my journaling, my creations. Has a memory I hope that holds on for a lifetime. On the edges of our soul, this this sounds fun. Let's get started. As you just saw, I carried the typewriter up to my art studio where I tested it out for the first time. The ink ribbon didn't perform well, so I set out to find a replacement on the handy dandy Amazon. I put the typewriter away until the new ribbon came in. I'm not sure if it's the best place for it, hidden under his ladder. It just feels right. On to how easy is this going to be to replace the ribbon. I'm not sure as this is my first time. I'm sure a quick search on YouTube could have helped but what fun is that? The replacement came from a shop out of Memphis, Tennessee. It's a universal ribbon fit for brands such as Brother, Imperial, Remington, Royal, Smith Corona, and more. When I searched for the ribbon replacement on Amazon, I typed in Smith Corona Classic 12. The packaging was on point. Scissors came in rather handy. After replacing the ribbon, I thought, what if I would have turned the ribbon spool enough to potentially find non-dried up ink left? I'll have to try that another day. I was a little uncertain which way the new spool should go, so I checked the old one out of memory of how it came out. I studied it for a second, and I placed the new one in like my observation revealed. I knew enough that the red part was downward as the black was on top. 
it took a few seconds to pan this out. I also, for a half of a second, wasn't quite sure how to even get the old ribbon out. Once I had it incorrect, it was a matter of getting the ribbon placed through the little slit. I studied it for a second before diving off. I wanted you in a little closer for the action. One side went in better than the other. The keys are harder to press than what we are used to in the computer generation. The ribbon didn't seem to tighten, so I knew I needed to work further. One side still wasn't in the slit like I thought. I tinkered, started typing. After wiping the ink off of my fingertips, I remembered the bar needed to be over my paper. It's been a while since I've typed on a regular typewriter. The pieces of paper used from the first try out whenever I first brought the typewriter to my studio before the new ink was in place came in handy for this exercise once the ribbon was replaced. I soon realized that that left side was not in the slit like it was supposed to on the right side. It is a very thin in between two pieces of metal that it has got to get in there. And if you don't have it just right, you're not going to get the results that you need. I personally just think one side was a little looser than the other and that's why it slipped in there. I knew from my observation on the right side what needed to be done and I just kept working and working and eventually it got into place where it was supposed to be. I'm not even sure what some of them buttons were that I just pushed, but I knew that I wanted the ink off of my fingertips because that's the last thing I want is to get ink all over this typewriter. Words came to mind the Lord placed on my heart. I typed away tinkered some, missed letters, didn't press hard enough, had to go back. My hope is you are encouraged to hold on to the old, weaving them into your own life. He is faithful all the days of our life. It takes time for things to work out. You've got to research some things to make good, strong progress. Happy days await you if you just wait. Sight, sounds, and smell will remind you. Look, listen, and smell. Today's type and demo, I hope, helped you if you are in the know-how to work a 
typewriter similar to this one or this particular um, make and model. I know that this particular typewriter is great for beginners and it's a long lasting one. It actually has easy repair and maintenance upon my further investigation. After I made this video, I kind of looked up some videos and those are the type of things that people were saying about them. So I hope you are encouraged by this video today with the Smith Corona Classic 12 typewriter.